Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions held a remote hearing today with members in self-quarantine. Among those testifying, White House Coronavirus Task Force member Dr. Anthony Fauci. Dr. Fauci warned senators that states and cities face serious consequences if they open up too quickly. He urged states not to reopen until they know they have the capabilities to handle an inevitable uptick in cases once they relax stay-at-home orders. Moreover, he believes the actual death toll of the coronavirus is lower than what has been reported so far. If you think that we have it completely under control, we don't. When you look at the dynamics of new cases, even though some are coming down, the, the, the curve looks flat with some slight coming down. So I think we're going in the right direction. But the right direction does not mean we have, by any means, total control of this outbreak. Fauci says it's a bridge too far for schools to expect COVID-19 vaccine by this fall, though he expressed optimism a vaccine would be developed in the next year or two. And House Democrats announced a second sweeping coronavirus stimulus bill today. It comes with a $3 trillion price tag. It's hefty. It would make it the largest relief package in history. That's how hefty it would be. It provides $1 trillion for state and local governments, $200 billion for essential worker hazard pay, $75 billion for expanded testing, and another round of stimulus checks of up to $6,000 per household. The House will meet on Friday to vote on it.